Na mtazamaji anaelezwa kwamba uh, viongozi au wale washukiwa ambao walikuwa wafike mbele ya DCI kuhusiana na swala hili la uh, ardhi ya kule mavoko kwa sasa wanazungumza akiwemo mbunge wa mavoko tusikize. That uh, property which is undergoing demolition in the river where which is within the constituency of Honorable uh, Makau and the area MP he was summoned to explain about the land if he knows who are the real owners where they, and the dispute which was there and he has given his uh, explanation to the DCI who are still conducting the investigations they, are, they summoned many people who are still recording statements so we will await uh, the recording of all those statements and the other ongoing statements be recorded in uh, at the Ripa police station for those people whose property have been uh, demolished. Then after that, we'll get uh, the results from the DCI on going forward. Yeah. Is, is this, is this a, a summary based on uh, the fact that he's the RMP or the, is there anything else beyond uh, him being a representative of the people? As the RMP. Because it represents the people within my full constituency and the properties within my full constituency. Yeah. I don't think it's what was in the nation. And, 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 and did you ask another question? Just give us, give us an update. You, you, you see, everybody knows the history of this. And what I can say is that uh, there is already investigations going on here. And when investigations are going on here, there are other people purporting to conduct their own investigations. They should all come to DCI. And whoever has any information in relation to this matter, to record statements here, but not to, to record statements, you know, to issue statements elsewhere. You come and record the statement with the DCI if you have any matter. And about the courts, you cannot issue judgments on technicalities. The law is very clear, you have to go to substantive hearing. It is encouraged for land matters even to visit the property. I am sure if the courts had visited this property, they would have come up with a different solution. And again, even after judgment, the rush, and the whole, the way the whole, the matter has been treated is, is really, uh, you know, mind-boggling. Uh, people's homes have been destroyed. The government, the current government has promised that such, uh, 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 you know, unlawful evictions or nasty evictions uh, should not be accorded to Kenya. And the constitution protects Kenya. And there is a right of appeal. So before you rush to damage your property, really, I think you should ask uh, one or two things. That most of the people whose properties were damaged, they were not part of the court case. They were not served. And ordinarily, when you are served, you are given 90 days. That gives also enough time for appeal. So this matter is deeper than it is, and we want DCI to investigate. So all those politicians are, are talking to this matter, dealing with this matter on the floor of the House or on, uh, uh, on press conferences should come to DCI and record statement on what they, they know, but not uh, try to mess up people's names or the member of parliament's name for Mavoko or any other leader. Let them come to DCI and state what they know. Okay. So you're in altercation with the officers on, on Monday. Yeah. Uh, has that been part of why you are summoned today? Let me say, uh, today is a very good day for me because I've come to DCI to give some light on what is happening. Number two, the last six days have been the darkest moments of residents of Mavoko. I want to say, and I categorically condemn the demonstrations in the strongest word possible. The demonstration, the way it was carried out, demolition. was the demolitions. It was inhumane. It lacked credibility. It lacked everything. Now, why am I here? I have been summoned here because I'm the member of parliament in Mavoko. You all know, in Mavoko there are thousands and thousands of land buying companies. Now, you all know, the way I know, that the land which is in question is being contested by two people, Aimima Lukenya and Portland. Now, the one million dollar question is this building have been built since 2014 
and I listened to the persons whose houses were demolished. They said they were required to pay for approvals. You all know you cannot build without county government's approval. How are these houses built? Not one, not a hundred, but in their thousands without the county government stopping these buildings. 